Hi there. Now for this part of the question then, we had to show that the sum of r plus 1 times r plus 4 going from r equals n plus 1 to 2n turned out to be something of this form. n over 3 times n plus 1 times a n plus b, where a and b were integers to be found. Well, it turns out that a is 7 and b is 20. Now, if there were problems, just take you through it. This is a very standard type of question again. In the previous part, we found out the sum of r going from 1 to n of all of r plus 1 times r plus 4. So we can pick up on that result. Only this time, what we do is, because it starts at n plus 1, r equals n plus 1, we go right the way back to the beginning, r equaling 1, and sum it all the way up to 2n, as I've done here, and then subtract from it all the terms from r equals 1 to n. And that will leave us then with the summation of the terms going from r equals n plus 1 then up to 2n. Now, from the first part, we found out what this summation was for r going from 1 to n. It turned out to be n over 3 times all of n plus 4 times n plus 5. So when it comes to working out what this summation would be, r going from 1 to 2n of the same product, then all we do is we replace the n that we had here in this expression with 2n. And you can see I've done that here, okay? So instead of n over 3, it's 2n over 3. Instead of n plus 4, it's 2n plus 4. And instead of n plus 5, it's 2n plus 5. So it's a question now of just simplifying this. And because we had to have an n over 3 out the front here, I've taken n over 3 out the front. And that means we get 2 times 2n plus 4 times 2n plus 5 and then just minus n plus 4 times n plus 5. So expanding this term here gives me 8n squared plus 36n plus 40, and then minus 1 times this expression here expanded gives me minus n squared minus 9n minus 20. And when you group these terms up, you get 7n squared plus 27n plus 20, and that factorizes to n plus 1 times 7n plus 20. So when you compare 7n plus 20 with a n plus b, clearly a is 7 then and b is 20. All right?